Okay, when you're working on your thumbnail sketches for your neo-folk art, um, you're going to start with these six circles, and I want you to experiment with different geometric designs. Um, you do not need to measure this, but use a straight edge or a ruler. Um, when you find the center of the circle on your final, that'll be a little bit more tricky, but right now I've got you started with a horizontal and a vertical line. You can also use these corners of the square. Um, so if I just wanted to get started by lining up the corners here with the center of the circle, um, I can draw some diagonals through my circle. It's not perfect, but don't worry about that right now. Um, and that gives me some more sections to work with. Just keep it within the circle. Um, then you're just looking for different points where you could um, create um, shapes or sections or intersect lines. Uh, you might choose to just connect like these two at the top. If you do that, you're going to go around and do that with every section. Um, if you want to eyeball the middle of this little slice of pizza thing, uh, you don't need to measure it here, but you could do that. Same here, and we could divide these up further. Um, once you start to get some lines uh, where you're, they're forming intersections, you can just connect those. So I could choose, like maybe I want to have this top line connect down to this one. The key is really, if you do it here, you've got to do it all the way around. And maybe this connects here, and maybe I want this to connect here. Um, the reason there's six is because if you make mistakes, it's not a big deal. It's just a time to experiment and try stuff. Um, and if it doesn't work out, no problem. Go on to the next circle, try it again, okay? Um, if you want to shade in some of these, like I did on the top, you can start to think about how can I make, um, you know, uh, positive and negative space? How can I work with something that looks three-dimensional or has a shadow? Um, so just try it a variety of ways. Um, you could also, you know, like if I wanted to divide these sections up more, I could eyeball like where's about halfway around on each of these, start connecting those, or I could connect them um, back down to, so I'm not doing this perfectly, but then maybe I want uh, that point to connect with this point. So you're just finding different places where you can connect your lines, okay? Once you have an idea of the design that you like the most, you're going to actually measure it out on this one on the back. Um, your task really is finding the center of the circle. Um, it's difficult to do this. There's different ways that you can do it. I think the easiest way is when we work on your final, I'm going to give you a template. You probably won't see all of this in the frame, but um, like this is a 12 inch square. Your circle would be a 12 inch diameter on top of the square, so just like this. And then you can measure the flat sides of the square to find the center of the circle. So um, measuring. If I line my ruler up, and with this particular ruler, zero starts right at the edge. Sometimes zero is in a little further. But if I line this up, and I look at the ending, I can see it's eight inches long. So halfway would be four inches. So I'm gonna make a little mark here at four inches. Same on the bottom, eight inches long. I'm gonna make a mark at four inches, be really precise. And then I can line up those two marks with my ruler and draw in my vertical line right through the center, my circle. Okay, we'll measure it on the side. It should be eight inches because I know it's a perfect circle. Yes, it is eight inches. So I'm gonna make a mark at four, make a mark at four. And then do a line right through the center of my circle. All right, now, um, this is where you can start to get creative and uh, make your own design here. So however you start to divide this up, okay? Um, try to make this as close to what you want your final painting to be um, so you have some practice measuring and you don't have to keep erasing and starting over. All right, if you have questions, we can talk about it in the classroom.